Hey guys, um, I know it's kind of belated, but I'm going to be filming a Christmas haul, well, Christmas slash thrift slash shopping haul, <laughs> basically just a big haul, um, but I am including some things that I got for Christmas, not everything that I got, because <clears throat> some things I don't really think you guys care about, like, I got deodorant for Christmas, <laughs> that's cool, um, and things like that, but I'm including most of these things that, you know, are actually interesting, I guess, like, mostly clothes. <laughs> um, it's pretty long haul, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So first of all, um, my friend Allie got me two things for Christmas. She got me this cute, um, set, dish set, with, it has a mug and a bowl and a plate. And they're owls. I don't live in my own place right now. I live with my mom. So I haven't opened it yet because I don't really have any use for it right now. I just use my mom's dishes. Um, but yeah, it's cute. And when I move out, it'll be the first dishes that I own, I guess. Um, she also bought me these cute little bow noodles. And they're like colored. Um, I haven't cooked with them yet because they're just so pretty. I kind of want to find like a really fancy recipe, um, or just something, you know, not something just plain because they're just so cute. I got Sex and the City perfume, which it, I don't think I've ever mentioned this before, but Sex and the City is like my all-time favorite show. I own the entire like box set of them, of the seasons, like all ten seasons on DVD. I've seen, like, every single episode, like, ten times at least. I just, I love that show. <laughs> uh, and I've seen both movies, and I own the first movie, too, on DVD. So, yeah, I like them. Um, I like that show. So I got this perfume. It's Sex and the City Lust. And they have three different ones. Lust, Guess, and another one. I don't know the other one. But, um, this is Lust. And I also got... And I personally prefer the guest one over the lust, but um, they didn't have the guest in the big bottle. They only had it in the little small bottle, so I used the lust more because I just I don't want to run out of this one quickly because it's like the one I prefer. So I just I use it sparingly. I got um, a little sponge. Um, I don't know if any of you have heard of these before, but I guess I'm Canadian, so we don't have um, Target or whatever. Um, at all, but apparently in the States, you can buy these at Target for like 10 bucks, and there's you use it to put your foundation on your liquid foundation, but I got this on eBay for like 99 cents, and it's like the same thing, so <laughs> I wouldn't recommend going to Target to get it if you have one. I don't actually know like the exact price, but I just saw on YouTube some people that have these said they bought it for like 10 bucks at Target, and I was like, why? You can go on eBay. But yeah, you use it to put on your foundation, your liquid foundation, and it's, it works amazingly, actually. Like, you think it's really weird, like a sponge, but I don't know what it is about the sponge, like why, but it really covers like really evenly. You know, it's better than a brush, I find, and it's better than using your fingers, because you just get everywhere is very smoothly. It goes on very smoothly and just looks really nice. I got this foundation, CoverGirl Aqua Smoothers. And yeah, I don't know. It's it's nice. I don't usually go with this. I tried it out for the first time because I usually go with the Alme, um, I don't know what it's called, color blend or something, where like it's white, but then you put it on and it like blends to your natural color, so it doesn't, it looks more natural, I guess. And I usually go with that, but it's more expensive than this one, and I was kind of saving most of my money for thrift shopping, so I didn't want to go with the really expensive one. So I went with this, I was like, well, I might as well try it out, it's cheaper. And yeah, you can tell it's cheaper, but it's still nice. I also got the Revlon Color Stay Aqua Mineral Makeup thingy, the powder foundation, because that's what I use over my liquid foundation. And I got Revlon blush 
to go with it, and they actually came together, these two. And, to go with my whole Revlon thing, I got the Revlon Color Stay Gel Eyeliner, which I'm also wearing right now, and I actually really love it. I, it's the first time I've ever tried out a gel eyeliner, um, so I was didn't really know how I was going to be, because I usually go with liquid eyeliner, but I actually prefer the gel over the liquid. It, it doesn't have to, like, dry, so you don't have to, like, not blink for a little while, you know what I mean? And it, it just, it's, it's not as messy, I guess. It's, cause it's easier to mess up with the liquid eyeliner. I got the Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara, which I like. And I got eyeliner, L'Oreal Paris, blah, blah. And it comes with this little, like, oh, shit. It comes with this little smudger, which is really cool, because you can smudge it and make it look kind of messy. Grunge. From my mama, I got two face masks. One is a clay mask, and it's mint and lemon. And the other is an anti-stress mask with dead sea minerals. And I actually prefer the, the anti-stress one. Um, I find this one, like the lemon one, kind of really dries out your face. So you have to like moisturize after, and you can't use it all the time because then your face just feels really dry. But this one doesn't. This one actually makes your face like really soft, and it doesn't really dry it out. And it just feels better. I find. I don't know. And it smells better. <laughs> one thing that I was very, very, very happy about when I unwrapped these were these. Um, if you know, they're it's supposed to be Alita. Only I got them on eBay. Well, my mom did. And I don't think they're real. Um, the page on eBay said they were, but the heel is supposed to be wood and it's plastic. So I don't yeah, I think they're a knockoff. Um but I don't care because it is real leather. It smells like real leather and it feels like real leather and they're good. They're I don't I don't need real does in my life right now, I guess. I'm can do with these until one day I have enough money to buy them. But yeah, I still wear them. Then I also got another pair of shoes. These. Um they're also kind of a knockoff of Alita, but the pink. And the heel is different. It like has a little curve in it. Um, but yeah, they look a lot like Lita's. And I'm in love with them. They're a little harder to walk in than the actual Lita's because um, the heel is actually taller than those. It's it's more yeah. They're they're harder to walk in, but they're still amazing and. That's something that just takes practice, like when you get new shoes, well, when I get new shoes and they're heels, I always, like, walk around my house in them, I'll just wear them around the house and just pretty much wherever I go just to break them in and kind of get the feel of it, and eventually you kind of just get used to walking, you, you kind of learn how to walk in them after a while, you know, and then it doesn't look as awkward. I got this sweater, um, it's kind of, oh, uh, something in my eyeball. It's kind of hard to show this properly, but it's a sweater, and it has a hood, and it's it's really thick, like it's a winter sweater, and it, it snaps, and then it has these cute little things here that you go like that. <laughs> um, it's really, really comfy, and it's really warm because it's thick, See, and it has this like really soft softness. Anyways. I got these cute little slippers. They're like moccasins. Have the fur. Um, not made for going outside in, so don't. Yeah, no. They're slippers. Um, <laughs> I've already. They have like this, um, like, wool or whatever on the inside. And it's fake, by the way. I, w I never ever wear real fur because I'm totally against killing animals. Look. So I always wear fake fur, just saying. Um, but yeah, and um, it was right soft when I first got it, and they're already like starting to wear down because I wear them like every day. 
Um, because they're so comfy. They're just, they're really comfy. I got this. I got this little, um, bustier kind of thing. It zips up in the front. has these little studs on it. Gold studs. I don't usually go for gold studs. I usually like silver studs, but I, I kind of like the gold. Um, yeah, I really like this shirt. I got these floral skinny jeans. Um, I always, always, like, for a long time now, have been wanting a pair of floral skinny jeans. <laughs> My mom thought that it was, like, hideously weird. When we went shopping, I was, like, pointed out pointed out these jeans to her and was like, those are what I want. She's like, really? Really? Like, those? They're floral. And I was like, yeah. I got this sweater. Um, it's knit. It has, like, really... It's kind of like an umbrella. What do you... I think you call it, like, an umbrella. Like, when the sleeves are, like, really kind of big. You know, and it has this, like, kind of triangle umbrella kind of feel to it. I got it off of eBay, and I got this panda sweater, which is really cute and not really my style usually. I don't usually wear pandas or teddy bears on me, but um, it's so comfy, and yeah. I got these leggings, and before you say anything <laughs> about this, I like them, okay? And yeah, they're I I like weird out there clothing. So I got these leggings. I got this blazer. Um it has spiked shoulders. Yeah, little pockets which are fake apparently. Um I've worn it I wore it on New Year's Eve actually. It's really, it's really cute. It's like formal, but then it has the spikes and it makes it, you know, less formal. Oh, I got this vest thing. Sheer vest. It has um, a tie in the front at the bottom and gold buttons. I got this um, pajama thing. It's like a romper, like a one-piece short thingy, um, but it's like, <clears throat> it's pajamas, obviously. I got these sweatpants, which are also very, very comfy. I love sweatpants. My, like, absolute favorite item that I got, item of clothing that I got, would have to be this Letterman jacket. Um, it has, like fake leather, like, pleather sleeves, instead of cotton sleeves, it has leather, and then thicker material here, because there were some that I saw that were, like, all, like, cotton, and the sleeves were cotton, and they were just, like, a sweater kind of thing, but I wanted the thicker ones that were warmer. I got these snakeskin red skinny jeans. Um, they have, like, little spikes, or little, like, studs on the back pocket, and I fell in love with them the moment I saw them. And I got these black skinny jeans, because I, I hadn't, I didn't have a pair of black jeans, like, you, everyone needs a pair of, a, at least one pair of black jeans in their wardrobe, you know? I didn't have one, so I got these. And then I got these jeans. Um, yeah. So that's all I got for Christmas. Now I'm going to move into the thrift haul part of this video. First, I got the shirt that I'm wearing, actually. It's, it says New York on it, and it has a picture of New York. Only I cut it up <laughs> and did, did that to the back. But obviously it was just a regular t-shirt. All the t-shirts I'm going to show you are all cut up because I've cut them up. But they were all just regular t-shirts when I got them. So there's this. T 
t-shirt that I got. Um, it's Popeye. The Popeye was actually um, on the back of the shirt, and then this was the front. But I changed it, because I didn't like that front. I wanted Popeye on the front. Everything at the thrift store was like 50% off, like everything, except the shoes, they weren't, but um, like all clothing was 50% off, and all the t-shirts were only $2.99, so I went a little crazy. Um, I got this shirt, it's alcohol, it says alcohol, Brad, Paisley, whatever, and then on the back, it says alcohol, some of the best times you'll never remember. Oh, I got one shirt I actually didn't cut up because I just plan on wearing it like as a comfy shirt. Is this. It's an element shirt. It says live, learn, grow. Element, yeah. And I got this, which says license to thrill on it. And the last t-shirt I got is this. It's really big and I didn't take it in or anything. Um, I did that to the back. Yeah, cut it up. And last but not least, I got these cute little shoes. Um, they kind of reminded me of like detective shoes, like Nancy Drew or something. I don't know why. They just have that detective feel to them, I find. And I fell in love with them and had to get them. They're suede and they're cute and they have a little heel on them. And that's all I got. So, yeah, it was kind of long. Sorry, I tried to shorten as much as possible, but <laughs> it's still pretty long. Um, thank you for watching. And hopefully I'm praying, anyways, that my extensions get here really, really soon because I've been waiting forever for them, and I really want to put those in and make a video for you guys. So I'll see you in, hopefully, a day or two. Um, bye guys!